Oh, I think it's been wonderful. It's been great to reconnect with people face to face and see them in person rather than all the virtual uh, connections that we've had over the last uh, three years with COVID, preventing us from being able to get together like this. So the NATO conferences, I think, are um, very informative. Uh, it's not only an opportunity to strengthen our networks and uh, get to know each other better um, face to face, but to hear about the amazing work that is being done right around the country uh, by our member services. So, you know, I am most grateful to them for coming to um, Canberra. It's a long way for many of them and, uh, and it's expensive. So it's really, you know, a testimony, I think, to the strength of our sector uh, to come together like this. And of course, I can't say uh, anything further unless I acknowledge the amazing Nacho staff who have been here right through supporting everybody and brought it all together in the first place. I'd like to uh, wish everybody uh, safe uh, travel home to wherever they live and I hope that you've been, you've all been inspired to pick up on the good ideas and the best practice that's been shared at the conference and that you will continue to uh, strengthen the delivery of our health services to our people because that's why we are here and I believe that we are doing a good job. We've got to be able to get governments to understand the importance of the environments our people live in and how, what a negative effect overcrowded housing and unhealthy environments have on our people's health. And as part of the comprehensive primary healthcare model, it's our job at every level to advocate for our communities in those areas as well. So I wish everybody a terrific year ahead, a safe and happy holiday season at Christmas. I hope you get some time to rest and recuperate and everyone comes back energetic and full of good ideas in the new year.